I now want to take some rose cuttings, and I think you're going to have to move, little one. So I'm going to put you down. There you go. You go down there. Roses take very well from hardwood cuttings. And the whole point about all cuttings is that they are exact clones of the parent. You want to look for a nice long stem. And what I'm going to do is cut right back down to there. So I've got a long straight stem. That's the key to it. So that's my cuttings material. Now I will process them and prepare them. And I'm not going to do this in a pot. I'm going to put these directly into the ground. When you're preparing hardwood cuttings, whether they're from a rose or a shrub or even a tree, all you have to do is take the stem Remove the leaves. This is not going to form any roots at all for about six months, by which time these leaves will be long gone, so they're no use to it. Now, each cutting, ideally, is about nine inches long. So I'll make two from this length here. And the only really important thing is that you put it in the right way up. And to know that the bottom is the bottom, you cut it at an angle. Now, obviously, when you're dividing it, you then have an angle at the top. So the first thing I do is square that off. OK, a couple more and we'll be there. Now these have to go into a slit trench. Take a spade, sink it in to its full depth and just pull the soil back. And now I'm going to add some grit. Sharp sand or, or normal sand will do fine, but what you're really trying to do is ensure you have really good drainage. Just place a fairly generous amount along the bottom of the trench, like that. Then place the cuttings on the vertical side, making sure they're the right way up. And they only need to be a few inches apart and push them in quite deeply. And then once they're in the ground, just pull the soil back over to fill the trench again. And just the tops of the cutting will be sticking out. And there is nothing more to do. Leave them. The only thing that you need to think about is to keep them weed-free next spring, and if it's very dry, to water them. And resist the temptation to dig them up and see if they formed roots when you first see signs of growth. Wait till this time next year, then you can take them out. And if they've got a really good root system, you can plant them in their final position. Although what I do is I pot them up, grow them for another year, and then put them out into the garden.